tonight's my annual State of the City Address, and, and this year I want to talk about our community. Um, effectively, the essence of community is how we all work together, and I have said many times that Summit's best asset is its core of volunteers. There are thousands of people that volunteer. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit, and then of course I would like to touch upon the Broad Street West Redevelopment Project. Happily, it looks like we are on track to have our firehouse ready for opening in early June. Um, pedestrian safety is an issue of concern for many people. I want to talk about that a little bit. And then, of course, some of our uh, police initiatives. And lastly, really talk about the wonderful things that both the Department of Community Programs and the Department of Community Services were able to provide this past year. I'm thrilled to have the support of my colleagues to become the next council president. And my approach will be to lead with my values that I was raised with here in Summit. And uh, I'm gonna take a balanced approach to everything um, when it comes to my demeanor um, and other things like policy as well. So when you see council taking actions on things, it's because they fall into one of three big buckets. The first is enhancing health and safety. The second is responsible use of our financial resources, and the third is pursuing the goals that are listed in the master plan. On the committees that I'm involved in, uh, safety and health, uh, I'll be returning to that committee, and I will be chairing labor and law. And those are two committees that serve my experience well as someone who is involved in risk mitigation, uh, compliance, and uh, the safety of, of our community means so much to everyone. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, serving on council is a great honor and privilege. I grew up in Summit, as did my parents, uh, having had neighbors, and a government that I didn't even know how engaged they were in my life. And so that is what I have been doing and intend to do. And my children expect the same of me. And I am hoping they follow in my footsteps and also be involved in city government. I'm the chair of the Administrative Policies and Communications uh, Committee, and that is actually two functions. So the Administrative Policies Committee, um, th we look at legislation. So we investigate it, we research it, and then we potentially implement it locally. And then the other side is um, the communication relations. And we haven't really fostered that, that part of the committee as much as I would like to. So for me, one of the goals is, is to work with the chief communication officer this year and think about how do we reach out to the community? How do we elicit their feedback? And how do we bring that back so that we can craft better policy that um, our citizens feel that they're a part of? So that would be my goal this year. What I love most about council is the opportunity to serve the people who have very busy lives and I get to be a person that helps make decisions to make their life better. As I walk through the city, all I can think is how lucky I am to live here. But as I think about it further, I realize it involves almost no luck at all. The city is comprised of an impressive network of volunteers, and I am so proud and privileged to join that incredible workforce of volunteers to help make Summit what it is. I am so pleased to be the new chair of the Capital Projects Committee of our Common Council. One area that I am pleased to focus on is intersection safety and how we can use engineering tactics and installations to help keep and make our intersections even safer than they are. This is an area that is very important to me. I am so very excited to serve the residents of Summit and make Summit a safer and better place. There's always areas to improve and I'm really looking forward to working with the city staff uh, to make it a wonderful experience for all the residents. 
So the committees that I'll be mostly involved with are community programs and parking, and I couldn't be more excited about that. It's such a great, great fit, and I've already worked a lot with Mark and David in Parks and Rec. I've toured every single playground tennis court imaginable, and I'm really looking forward to getting feedback from residents on what they would like to see improved. Uh, recreation is something I do for a living, so I am, think I can bring a lot of value, uh, but I also want to learn. I want to learn from the city staff and from the residents and see how we can improve. I think it's going to be a great experience, and we have a great team. And parking, I can't wait to work with Rita. And I think uh, traffic is one of my biggest pet peeves. So however we can make it work better, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, in my committee work, I'll be the chair of the finance committee. Um, so working on the budgets for the city, the, the capital and operating budgets. Um, and returning gladly to the uh, parking services and community programs committee. Um, continuing some work that we started in 2022. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. So in community programs and parking services, you know, we made a lot of progress. So just kind of making sure that those are working, that we're flexible, um, and, uh, you know, responding to the needs of the city as, as those changes come up. Well, I'm looking forward after three years to going back onto committees. Um, I will be the chair of the safety committee and I look forward to working on trying to find innovative solutions to some of the problems um, such as pedestrian safety, traffic safety, and um, car thefts. One of the things we're going to be working on is car fleet inventory, which is the first step in looking into um, uh, hybrid and electric vehicles. And we're hoping to take advantage of some grant money. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to. And also other sustainability issues. And hopefully this will be the year that the dog park opens. So those are the things I'm most looking forward to. Thank you.